SV Math Teacher here again, reminding you to like and subscribe if you like what you see on the videos. So let's get started. Today we're going to determine an equation from two points. Um, this happens a lot where you're given a problem and it's not drawn on a graph. And it's worth mentioning that you can always just graph these things. However, and, and connect them with a straight line and look for your y-intercept and count out your slope and then just write your equation that way. However, teachers will sometimes do what I'm doing here is they'll give you numbers that are pretty high. Um, these numbers aren't ridiculous, the 20 and the 30. You could scale this, but 20 and 30 is, is an example of how we could, as teachers, make these numbers higher to make graphing them more difficult. I could make these numbers 20 and 300 or 20 and 30,000, it wouldn't make any difference to me because the math is the same, but to you trying to graph it, it would become difficult. So this step-by-step -step procedure will tell you exactly how to do it without needing a graph. And the math itself is very, very simple. We're going to go ahead and follow step number one. Step number one is going to be calculate the slope. And we have a formula for slope, so the formula is going to rely upon uh, the knowledge that you have x's and y's, the first pair and the second pair, you're going to subtract the y's, so 30 minus 20 on the top, and 10 minus 6 on the bottom. 10 over 4 is, I'm going to go ahead and say 2.5 because that's a nice decimal. You could say 5 over 2 as well. So now we have the slope. Step number 2, use one of the original pairs of numbers and the slope. So one of the original pairs and the slope to rewrite the equation. So watch what we are going to do. I'm going to pick... Eh, I'll pick this one, right? It doesn't really make any difference, 6 and 20, or 10 and 30. You're allowed to pick either one, and it doesn't make any difference which one you pick. So I'm picking 6 and 20, and what that means is I'm choosing 6 for x and 20 for y. I also see that 2.5 is my m. So 2.5 is m, right, because that's my slope. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. I'm going to rewrite this equation using the m, the x, and the y that I have on the left, and the only thing left will be the b that we're going to figure out. So, instead of y equals, I'm going to write 20 equals. Instead of mx, I'm going to write 2.5 times 6. That's m times x. And then plus b gets plus b, because that's what we're going to figure out. So I have 20 equals, let's see, 2.5 times 6, that's 12, and half of 6 is 3, and 12 and 3 is 15. So 15 plus b... So 15 plus, what? let's see, so we're going to subtract 15 from both sides, and we're going to get b equals 5. So now we have the two parts that we need. We have the 2.5 for slope, and we have the 5 for y-intercept. And that's it. Write your equation. y equals 2.5x plus 5. And we're done. Now, teachers can make these problems more difficult by choosing more difficult numbers in their two ordered pairs. They can choose them so you have decimals, that you have fractions, that you have negatives, but the truth is the technique is the same. Calculate the slope, pick a pair, and stuff it back into your equation along with your slope, and then solve for b. That's it. So good luck determining an equation from two points.